Hi. So in this lecture, we're going to see table of continents. So as you can see, the table of continents is the first page in every motherboard schematic. Okay. So, so in the table of continents, you can find every circuit with its page. Okay. So. In the page number five, we have DC and battery changer. Okay, we can see changer, not charger, because in this circuit, the power management IC change between the adapter and the battery. When you plug the adapter, the power of the motherboard is from the adapter. And when you remove the adapter, the power management IC will change automatically the source of power. The battery will become the source of power when you remove the adapter. Okay. Here we have select and battery connector in the page number six. We have system power three volt and five volt. Okay. So this is the circuit where we get 3 volt and 5 volt okay so this is the system power 3 volt and 5 volt we will see this circuit in page number 7 here we have system power plus 1.8 volt and 1.5 volt in page number 8 okay so this also this is the power for the GMCH and also for the RAM random access memory Okay, because the RAM in this motherboard is DDR2. You know that the power of RAMs is different in accordance with its type. So for the DDR for DDR1 the power is 2.5 volt. For DDR2 the power the power is 1.8 volt. For DDR3, the power, I mean the main power, is 1.5 volt. For DDR4, the power is 1.2 volt. And for DDR5, the power is 1.1 volt. Okay? So here we have the system power, VCCP. Okay? And 2.5 volt. So the VCCP also is the power for chips in the motherboard for gmch also for the cpu okay here we have the cpu power okay this is the main power for the cpu okay when you find in any schematic vcc core means the the power for the cpu okay so this is the main power for the cpu okay so here we have plus 0 0.5 volts because the RAM has two kinds of power okay the main power so for the RAM in this motherboard the main power is 1.8 volt and the half of this power is 0 0.5 volt or 0 0.9 volt so 0 0.9 volt is the power for RAM terminals okay we will see also the circuit in this schematic so here in Page 12, we will find power slip. As you can see, if you go to page 12, you will find the power slip process. Page 13, we have power sequence. Okay. 14, clock generator. Okay. So the clock generator is what? The clock generator is an IC. Okay. So this IC is responsible for generating the timing or the clock for the whole motherboard always we find this clock generated near to the processor or to the cpu i will show you this ic in the motherboard so here as you can see this is the cpu okay and here we have the clock generator as you can see this is the clock generator we have near to it a crystal as you can see, this is a crescent. This is the clock generator. It 
generate the clock for the CPU, for the, the chipset and for the whole motherboard, okay? Okay, here also in this motherboard, as you can see, this is the clock generator, as you can see here, okay? Always you will find a crystal near to the clock generator, okay? So here in four pages, as you can see, we have this kind of chip, Iona. This is the CPU in page 15, 16, 17, and 18. So I want to add that if you understand the schematic, you can understand any laptop motherboard schematic because the working principle is the same. Okay, so here five or four pages for for the processor okay and here we have the thermal fan controller so the thermal fan control this is an ic or a component that control the term or the thermal or the heat of the processor when the heat of the processor increase it send a signal to the fan in order to increase the the fan speed okay and vice versa okay here also in four pages as you can see we have here calistoga is a name of a gym ch as you can see in page 20 21 22 23 and 24 okay this is a name or this is the GMC hinge, okay? Then here in three pages, we have the DDR2, as you see, we have in this schematic DDR2, okay? So here, as you can see in the other pages, as you can see here in 28, we have the CRT and S video connector, okay? So this is for the screen, okay? Here we have the LCD connector, in this page if you go to this page you can find the lcd connector okay so in those pages we have the ich the control hub or the south bridge in five pages as you see okay so here in the next page we have the usb2 hub fingerprint the key bc or keyboard controller or the super io we have the SPI or the BIOS, also the keyboard control point devices, the CPU IO as you can see, serial ports, okay, or serial daughter board. Here we have the parallel port. So in this page you will find the parallel port. So we have here the Azalea codec. This is a control audio controller. Okay, Azalea codec is the audio controller. I will show you this. I see in the motherboard, do you see here? So this is, as you see, the audio control, as you see. We have here the audio part, and near to this part, we have the control. The same as this, as Azalea codec, okay? This is another IC from another motherboard, as you see, the same here, as you can see, okay? So here we have the mic jack okay as you see the mic or jack we have audio amplifier and the speaker jack we have the SHA HDD connector or hard disk drive connector and this is in page 47 we have the ODD connector or optical disk drive connector okay so here as you can see we have the USB connector in page 48 usb total board okay in page 49 we have the card bus controller pc card slot 1394 connector mini card and sim in page 52 so we have the lan interface the lan rg45 connector this connector is for the network okay in page 55 we have docking connector mtc connector so this page is blank here we have the bluetooth you can find the bluetooth schematic here we have the led switch 
LED bars connector, LED daughter board, in page 61, just a screw. Here we have 7 in 1 socket and 63 cables. So, so this is the first page of the schematic. In every motherboard schematic, you will find that the first page is the table of continents. Okay?